Democrats will do well to heed the observation by Amy Walter, the national editor for the Cook Political Report. What she has to say, there is only one way, in my humble opinion, that Biden can get around that. So let's listen to her and then take it on the other side. As difficult as perhaps Friday and the weekend has been for Joe Biden, Amy Walter, if you just looked at the polls, the last two weeks in particular, I mean, whether it's a battleground state or a quasi-battleground state, it seems as if it doesn't matter if it's a national poll, state poll, Biden is ahead or on the move everywhere. What you noticed over this last couple of weeks is that, you know, voters are expecting their political leaders to meet the moment. A lot of governors have, and you're seeing their approval ratings up in the 70s in some cases, uh, all close to 80%. All Trumps are back where they've always been because he met this moment in the same way he meets every moment. It's polarizing, it's divisive, and it's putting people yeah. back into their political camps. The one thing I will note though, Chuck, as strong as Joe Biden is looking in those states and, and in national polls, what you also see is that President Trump hasn't cratered. And his overall vote share, if you look at the matchup between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, doesn't match his approval rating in a lot of these states. In other words, he still has room to grow in these states. There's a group of people who yeah. saying, I like the job that the president's doing. I'm not yet quite ready to say, I'm going to vote for right. them. It's easy for, for him. It's easier for Trump to get those people back. They haven't defected, at least not yet, to Joe Biden. At least not yet Joe Biden. But here's the issue. Uh, for them to defect to Joe Biden, Joe Biden would have to really speak to their personal economies and speak to the point in our current time, the COVID-19 pandemic, that seem like he is the only one who can make their lives better, right? Trump is a good actor. Trump is a good performer. Trump will even go to the left of Joe Biden. Trump would even give the impression that he's going to give something uh, like Medicare for all, for all the bills that these folks are going to be coming on, for all the uh, rise in health insurance prices that these guys are going to come across when they see what the new bills are going to be in October. So what's going to happen? If Biden does not step up to the plate, if Biden does not move from the center and move to policies that are going to help not only Biden supporters, but also Trump supporters, as they see their, their personal economy crumble, and Trump speaks to that personal economy, and Joe continues to maintain the pragmatic center that's going to make sure that we don't blow the budget, and that's going to make sure that we don't give people free stuff as he tries to be that person, then what you're going to find is that Trump is going to go around his left flank. Trump already has his right flank secured, and that win that these polls are seeming to show will evaporate rather quickly because there will be then several forces working against Joe Biden. We'll have voter suppression. We have an economy that Donald Trump has cratered but would give the impression that it's somebody else's problem and only he can fix because somebody running from the center and pragmatism doesn't give anyone any hope that their life is going to be better. So Biden better start right now. Step up left. Tell what you're going to do for people. And then we'll see those poll numbers become a little bit more stay in. And not only stay in, but you will also see what's going to be necessary. And that is the drop in Donald Trump's poll numbers within his own base. I'm Egberto Willis, host of Politics Done Right, an independent news program. I post several news videos of interest every day. I ask you so kindly to subscribe to my channel and please leave me some comments. Thank you very much.